I'm gonna get hit by a truck. No, I'm not. <laughs> There's this intersection here and the lanes do like that and it makes me nervous when a big vehicle is swooping this way. All right, we're turning into the big Walmart. Well, we're not literally turning into a big Walmart. That'd be horrible. We are turning the car this way to enter the parking lot. I'm gonna park up here and I'll tell you a story. This just made me sad and I about got involved myself. People just zigzag through this parking lot like it's the Wild West. I may be making a mistake trying to turn some, return something here on a Saturday this time of day. I'm gonna tell you a story and then I'm gonna go inside. All right, so I get into Walmart, right? And there's this little old lady, bless her heart. She came up to the front and you know, she looked like she was probably in her eighties easily. And she was by herself and she had her hair all done. You know, I, I love to see older ladies and they have their hair all, you know, like, you know how they have it all done, you know, it looks so nice. And she had this nice, like a little uh, suit jacket dress kind of thing on. She looked really nice. Maybe she was coming from somewhere or going somewhere, but she was very dressed up. She looked really nice. So she comes rolling up with her cart and in her cart were these two enormous decorative items. They're, they look like giant Christmas tree ornaments. She had two of them and they, they come one to a box and you can't see how far out my arms are growing, but it was massive, right? And these things are heavy because they're meant to be lawn decorations or something like that. They're, they're, they're heavy. I don't know how she got them in the cart. Maybe she got somebody to put them in the cart. I don't know, but she comes rolling up and there are two employees standing there just chatting with one another. And she goes, excuse me, are you checking? And that's the term I hadn't heard in years. Now, I, my first job was as a cashier in a, in a little mom and pop grocery store. And they referred to us as checkers. A lot of people did, either cashiers or checkers. But that's not a term you hear too much anymore. This poor lady, and I don't know if they just didn't hear her. She, you know, she wasn't speaking really loudly. You know, excuse me, are you checking? And they didn't say anything. And then she said it again a little bit louder. And one of them just looked at her and said, you gotta do self checkout over there. And she stood there for a minute. She said, oh, this should be interesting. And I felt bad for her. Like, I don't think she knew how to do it. So she goes over there, she rolls her card over to one of the self checkout things. And she's just standing there looking at the machine and trying to figure it out. And finally one of them went over there and did show her how to, you know, how to scan the items. And then she paid for them and the, the lady walked off and they went back to just chatting with one another. And she said, you know, excuse me, can, can someone help me get these in my car? I, I can't get them in my, I can't pick them up. That's just why I'm assuming somebody put them in a cart for her. And the lady said, we don't do that. And I, at that moment I was, I was about to say, ma'am, I will come help you put that in your car. I just personally, I thought it was rude you know, it wouldn't take you five minutes to go help her put these things in her car. And, uh, and the lady, it was so sad. The lady goes, please, can one of you please help me? And one of them said, okay, I'll, I'll come help you put them in your car. But I just felt so bad for her. Like, what are you doing here? Bless your heart. You're here by yourself buying these ornaments. This, this lady might've weighed 90 pounds soaking wet. These ornaments probably weighed as much as she did. Bless your heart. I wanted to follow her home. Like, can I help you set these up? How are you going? I hope she's got somebody at home to get them out of the car for. I don't know. I just, I, I just, I, I spent most of my childhood around older people. I, I really did. I don't like the term old people because it just feels dismi dismissive to me. So, I don't know. I have a special place in my heart for older people and... I just feel, I just have this natural tendency, like I want to look out for them, you know, I want to make sure they're okay and you're, you're not treating them bad, you're not hurting them, you're not taking advantage of them. It just, it just really makes me angry to see that. So, but I, I was going to do it. I was ready to do it, man. I'm going to use my, I was going to use my muscle and move that stuff for her if that, uh, the employee had not agreed to go do it. So she followed her out to her car and I didn't see anything after that. But yeah, just, I don't know. 
I like to take some time every day to do something for somebody if I can. But I'm gonna go in here and return the, an umbrella. It's a nice one, it's, um, what is it? No, it's not a totes, it's a Misty Harbor. I picked this one because they didn't have many umbrellas. Um, it's, it's a lot smaller than the Chick Foop umbrella. But he didn't want it. It's also a Chick Foop umbrella. I showed him, I said, look, it has the same feature. He said, but I, I like, I like mine. I like the one you gave me. So, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go return an umbrella. I don't have the receipt, but hopefully that won't be a problem. And I have been running around since I went to an exercise class outside at 730 this morning. Out there running and doing, we would run ladders and then come back for three minutes. And then come back and do an exercise. Run ladders for three minutes. Come back and do an exercise. Do frog jumps for three minutes. Come back. And, and we did that for an hour. So I did that. And I actually have like my day job. I got a ton of work to do when I get home. I got to do my day job. I got to bleh. I got to go out and get leaves up out of my yard. I'm going to wait and take my shower after that. There's no point in taking one beforehand. And one of the good things about working out when it's cold outside is you don't get that sweaty. Well, I still need a shower, but I'm going to get one in a little bit. And at some point today, I might make like an, a real video like for my other, <laughs> my real channel. Yeah, it's a typical Saturday. Anyway, if you see this, this means I started my second channel, which I was kind of, I don't know what I want to call it. I thought about just calling it Everyday Mary, just because it's Everyday Mary. It's, you know, me every day. It's not me sitting there in my room whispering at you. This is not ASMR at all. It's just normal stuff. I don't know how it's going to go, but we're definitely, we're going to give it a shot and see what happens possibly. I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon.